getting ready for the kickoff against Frederica. We won the toss and we're going to receive the ball. Bullock Academy is just coming through the Gator, supplied by Optum and the Aarons. And we look forward to a good game tonight. Frederica's always been great competition and a great rivalry. In case you missed it, Cam Newton was the one calling the coin for us, won the toss, and we'll be receiving first. Looking forward to a great game. I think um, Frederick is getting ready to come out of the banner now. Here they come. <laughs> and I'm sure Frederick stands will be Filled up a lot more when everybody finds a place to park here due to all the construction we got going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Don't matter to> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> it's a great night for football. Uh, Bullock Academy is coached by Steve Pennington, retired from Georgia High School, and graciously decided to come work with us and hopefully. Um, We'll just extend this career even more. All right, let's see. We have Cam. Looks, looks like Rodney Hills in the center, about to return for BA. And they're teeing it up now. Number one for Frederica, he'll be kicking off. Uh, they'll be kicking from West Side Road back towards Cypress Lake. Here we go. Short kick. All right, gets back to the around the 26 yard line for Bullock Academy starting on 26. <laughs> Harrison Kennedy had a good return. First and 10, 26. Frederica making some adjustments. Tyler Wilby gets some instructions from the sideline. Hand off to Rodney. Rodney Hill. Rodney does what he does. Makes something out of nothing. We will take that all night long. Good job, Rod. Good job, line. Lineman doing a great job. 13-yard gain for your Gators. All right, Gators line up on the ball. It'll be about 38-yard line. Rodney single in the backfield. Split to the right and the left. Uh, he met some contact right in the middle there. No gain, no gain. Looks like Rodney lost a yard on that one. Second and 11. Quarterback. Ball to Rodney up the middle. Not much there. He got maybe one yard. About a, about a 39. Rodney Hill wants to get off right tackle. Gave him about two yards. See, it looks like it'll be around third and 11. Third, third and ten, around three, third and ten. All right, we'll be getting instructions from the sideline. Reed Clifton, 
spreading out left. Will be about to pass. Rodney's open. He's met. That looks like a good defensive play with Frederica. Uh, knocked down. Will be punting, looks like. Punting team going on the field. Not a bad pass. Not a bad pass. It well defended by Frederica. Olin back to receive the punt. Receive the snap. Here we go. All right, here we go. Lands about the 30, 25, going good roll to around the 19 yard line. They'll be going back towards Cypress Lake. Fred Rick is already up at the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're getting directions from the sideline, from the coach. Looks like they have one man in the backfield, two spread out left, one on the right. Up. Inadvertent whistle. Nope, not inadvertent. They um, are calling them for man in motion. False start. First and 15. Puts about a 12 yard line. 12 yard line. Same. Got two split right, one left, one in the backfield. Quick pass. And he maybe got a yard or two. Well defended, well defended. All right, here we go. Uh, second and 11. Looks like they're on about the 17-yard line. And quarterback is along the backfield. Looks like it's going to be a pass. He drops back. Oh, he's getting some pressure. They got him. Got him sacked. Good job. They were all over him. Looks like uh, lost about five on that one. Be third and sixteen. A lot of pressure up front. Dylan Danello, Bryson Scott. Uh, we're all over him on that one. Here we got one single back behind the quarterback. Two split left, one split right. Third and 16. Quick pitch, running back, left side. And he gets some room. Uh, he gets up to about the 22 yard line. It's going to be, let's see, fourth down. Bringing on the punting time. Punting team is coming on for Frederica. Carter Snipes back to return the punt by himself. Uh, fair catch. About the 30 hour. 39 yard line. That gives us a little better field position to start with. Um, our offense is coming on the field. Will it be getting some last minute instructions from Coach Pennington? First and 10, Bullock Academy. Almost the 40 yard line. Okay, we got two split right. 
Good run, good run, good effort. He tried to go up the middle, split it outside. That'll be Garrison Lee. Garrison Lee. He maybe got a yard on that one. He, he got met up the middle, split it out, and they um, called forward momentum, stopped the play. Quarterback takes a snap, uh, scrambles around. Oh, or may, he may have lost the ball. May have lost the ball. Yes, Frederick is taking over. He got stripped around the 41 yard line. Uh, right. Frederick will take over, 38 yard line. Frederick waiting on the snap. Oh, quarterback ball was the ball. He's scrambling. Oh, it was a big loss. He, our defense was all over him. We got him back at the 49-yard line. Looks like it'll be second around 17. Second and 17 heading that way. All right, looks like Frederica's all the one at the line. Splits on the right. Fullback in motion. Quick pitch, number four on the right side. Pretty good job of containing him. Uh, looks like they're going to be on the right hash. It's going to be like third and 16, third down and 16. Splitting out two receivers to the left. One receiver in the backfield, one um, running back in the backfield, my mistake. Quarterback rolls out to the left, passes to the receiver, and... Gets back to the original line of scrimmage, looks like. Be about fourth and ten. Fourth and ten. Looks like they're bringing on a punting team. Carter Snipes back to receive. All right, good punt, good punt. Carter Snipes catches it. Looks like it's they're spotting the ball now. Oh, yeah, looks like it's around nine yard line. BA is going to take it over on a nine yard line. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm still getting an update on the numbers on our players. Got Rodney Hill in the backfield. Two split right. Willoughby. Looks like he's making adjustments at the line. Got a man in motion. Going to the left. Hand off. Uh, pitch to Rodney. Rodney makes a tackle or two. Probably around a four or five yard game. Second and six, heading back towards. Our west side goal, here we go. 
Oh, we're strong left. We're splitting out three left. Rodney only one in the backfield. And off Rodney up the middle. He's met right there in the middle. Gets a few yards, maybe a yard, maybe a yard. If he got a yard. Uh, looks like it's going to be on the 13-yard line, around third and six. So little to no gain. Third and about six. Let's go get it, fans. We, we got to get we, – we need to move move these chains and get a first down right here. Third and six. Looks we'll like we have around three minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Fast quarter, fast quarter. All righty, here we go to line up. Willoughby. Got a slot back right, right in the backfield, split split right. He rolls out right. Harrison's open, makes the pass. Good job. It's going to be a first down for B.A. Big pickup, big pickup. Good job. That moves us up to around the almost a 25-yard line. First down, B.A. All right, lock back up line of scrimmage. Man in motion. Hand off to Rodney, left side, up the middle, maybe two yards. Rodney Hill over the left hand side. Wait for the spot, short gain, a one yard pickup. Looks like it's going to be around second and nine. Second and nine, second. Eight and a half. And again, here's a thank you to or Optum Orth Orthopedics for being an orthopedic provider. Additionally, we thank you, Optum, for providing the service of our athletic director, Coach Chris Horton. Hand off to Rodney right side, breaks out. Oh, he made something happen there. Not much was there. He made. He picked up three or four. All right, here we go. Third and two. We're on the 34-yard line. Third and two. Got to get to just before the. 35 yard line, here we go. Tight formation, one split right. Oh, he's met, Rodney's met right when he got the ball. They almost took it from our quarterback. Oh, looks like we're bringing on the, looks like we're bringing on the punting team. Olin's coming in the punt. He'll be fielding the ball on about the 18 yard line. Oh, high snap. He gets it. Looks like a pretty good punt. The receiver fell down. We had a good, good roll. Oh, good punt. Look, looks like it took it to around the 25 yard line. They'll be starting on the 25 yard line. Frederica, be first and 10, 25 yard line. All right, Frederica's up at the line. Two split right, one slot left, one in the backfield, slot moving, in motion, hand off to the long back, and he, get, he breaks it. He got into the second level there. First down, close to, yeah, 39-yard line, 39-yard line. 
First down yard is gained on the play. Looks like some good blocking up front for Fred Frederica right there. Frederick is up at the line. Two left. He got two split left. Slot back right. One goes in motion. Quick pitch to the running back to the right side. Ugh. Looks like around five yard game. Uh, just a looks like we're taking a timeout. Nope, that'll be the end of the first. They're in the first. Uh, no score. Both teams going to the sideline. Also, I want to say congratulations. They just handed this to me. Olin Anderson for homecoming king. Senior, punter, kicker for BA. And also won a toe-touching contest. I don't know what that means, but good job, Olin. Here we go. All right, we switched positions. We're now going towards West Side Road. Looks like he um, handoff to the running back. Great effort, and he got the first down. Uh, looks like Fred Rica's at our 46, heading toward heading towards end zone. All right, quarterback waits on the snap. Got two split left. Slot back in motion. Looks like they're. Go oh, there he goes in motion. Quick pass left. Oh, missed the tackle. Oh, and yeah, 29 yard line. Looks like he's at about 29 yard line. First and 10, Frederica knocking on the door. Come on, defense for BA. Let's go. All right, here we go again. They're splitting two right. Slot right. One man in the backfield. Hand off to the running back going left. He darts and he gets close to another first down. Looks like they're going to be around one yard short, second and one for BA. BA's got to do a good job here. Here we go. Got two split right, same same situation. Slot back in motion, one in the backfield. Quarterback, hands to the right. Looks like he's going to have the first down and more. Looks like he got around the 12 yard line. First and first and 10 on the 12. Big thank you to Statesboro Power Sports. <coughs> will be our first down sponsor and for all you do for our community. Um, Y'all do a great job. Go see them, go see them. Statesboro Power Sports. Slot back in motion, two split right. Hand off to the running back, left. Goes left, mm, maybe two or three yard pickup on that one. Short game on the play. Relief of the legs. 
second and eight. Round eight yards for Frederica for a first down, second, uh, second down and eight, second down and eight. They're knocking on the door. They're on a 12 yard line. Come on, Book Academy. Two split right. Slot back in motion again. Hand off at the middle, number four. Looks like he picked up around five, five and a half yards. Down to around the five yard line, looks like. Third and two, third and two on our five yard line. Got people coming off the field, going in for BA. Hand up the middle, number four. Let's see if he got a first down. I thought they were spotting him short. Looks like it's going to be a referee timeout. They're um, going to measure. Mm. No, nope, they're moving the chains. First down. No, nope, they're coming to measure. Here we go. They're measuring on, measuring on the side. First down, Frederica. Okay, first and four. They're on the four-yard line. Same setup. They got two split right, slot man, and one long back in the backfield with the quarterback. Hand up the middle. Oh, he is met in the backfield. Wow. Cash Vickery just took his lunch from him right there. Looks like he was, he, he looked like he was untouched, just met him in the backfield at the same time the quarterback was trying to give off the ball. So it looks like it's going to be around second and five now. Same setup, two split right, slot back in motion. For Frederica, quick pitch, number four. Oh, hit, hit well, hit well. Our guys did a good job. Defensive end stood him up and they locked, and they were surrounding him. Looks like it. Great job, great job on defense. It's like third and five. Third and five, Frederica. Same setup, two split right, slot man, and one in the backfield to quarterback. Slot man in motion, goes back right. He's passing, drops back to pass. Oh, oh, we should have been picked off. Wow. I had to make sure I had the numbers right. That's Wesley Joyce broke up the pass. It hit him right between the numbers. I don't know how he missed that one. Got those wrestling hands. But a great job, great job. Knock the ball down. Good job. Good job, Wesley. They're lining up to kick. They're going to try to go for a field goal. It's like about 22 yard field goal. Ball's down. Looks good. Frederick is on the board. Um, in second quarter, 7 18 to go and a half. Looks like Frederick is up three to nothing. Come on, Wesley, get some, get some grip on them gloves. All righty, we're fixing to get ready for another kickoff. Looks like uh, Book Academy's Coaches are um, encouraging the guys to get out there in the huddle for the kickoff.
All righty. Owen Lovin. Love it gets ready to kick off for BA. Frederica's still in a huddle on the sideline. And we got Rodney in the center. And Frederica's setting up to kick. All right, looks like we have around seven minutes and 18 seconds. Here we go to kick off. Carter Snipes receives the ball right side up the middle. Good return. Uh, looks like um, up to around 20, 22 yard line. Offense goes on the field for BA. First and 10 on our 26, heading that way. Here we go. Looks like we're two, splitting two right, two left. Quarterbacks along in the backfield. Uh, Looks so like we got a timeout, Bullock Academy. Timeout, Bullock Academy. All right, we're back. Quarterback gets the ball for B.A. Oh, my good goodness. Woo! That could only be a Pope catching that one. Number 20 for B.A. Oh, my gosh. Man, great. Good job. First down B.A. at the four-yard line. Wow. Great catch. All right, here we go. Spread, spread two out. S slot back in the backfield. One. Oh, bad snap! Bad snap! Our quarterback's running for his life. Oh man, Willoughby. Uh, didn't have much of a chance on that one. It um, hit the ground. He he bobbled it. Tried to pick it up, make something happen. Puts us back around the uh, 27 yard line. It's like around. Wow. It's like around second, second down and at least 22 for a first down. All right. Got two split right, two left. Slot back right. We'll be calling, calling the play. Uh, drops the ball again. He picks it up. He's running. Make something happen. Oh, 33 yard line. He picked around. Uh, still picks up around five yards. All right, Willoughby on the sideline talking. Goes back to the huddle. It's like around third and 16. Third and 16 for Book Academy. All right, splitting everybody out. Got one slot back in the backfield. Willoughby drops back. He's running. He sprints right. Here he goes. Throws it. 
Oh, Carter Snipes. High pass made a great effort just out of his hands. Looks like we're going to bring on the punting team. Almost had it, almost. Great job roll, running for his life, Willoughby, and almost had a great catch by Carter. Got one back, receiving a punt. Low snap. Low snap again. They hit our punter a little. I don't know if they're going to call it. No. Nope. And um, looks like they catch it, and the Gators wrap him up around the 30 yard line. First and 10, Frederick on the 30, heading, heading towards our end zone. Got 70 yards to go. Come on, defense. All right, looks like they're splitting them left this time with a slot back and one in the backfield with the quarterback. Quarterback looking at, it looks like they're going to call it. So they call a timeout. Frederick could call a timeout. Statesboro Power Sports is a proud supporter of BA Athletics. We are Southeast Georgia's largest power sports dealer. We carry lines like Polaris, Can-Am, Suzuki, Alumacraft, Sea-Doo, Seafox, and Tiger Surf Boats. We have easy financing available for everyone. Come by Statesboro Power Sports and see the difference. Alrighty. Quarterback tried to throw a pass number eight. It was incomplete. And looks like it's second ten on their uh, thirty three yard line. All right, split left, two two split left, quarterback waiting on the snap. Put the slot back in motion right, back left. Up, up, quarterback pulls it down instead of passing. Looks like he got around four yards up the middle there. Looks like it'll be... It's like around. Come on, come on, defense. Here we go. All righty. Looks like um, quarterback for Frederick is taking some instruction. He's changing a play. Two split left again. One long back in the backfield with the quarterback. Got the slot back in motion. Hand off at the middle. Oh, oh, that was close. It's going to be close. It may be a, they may be measuring this one. Uh, looks like they're moving a change. First down, Frederica. First down, Frederica on around the 39-yard line. No, no, 43-yard line. Excuse me.
All right. We're down to the four minute mark in the half. Frederica up three to nothing with a field goal. Got two slot backs right. Up. We got a whistle. Oh, got a delay of game on Frederica. That's going to back him up. That helps. That helps. Back him up five yards. First and 15. First and 15. He's got two right, one left. Slot back, handoff off the middle. Good effort by their running back. He got hit in the backfield, spun, and still got around three, probably five or six yards. It's like it's going to be around second down and 10 on their 43 yard line. Two slot backs right, one left. Oh, oh, looks like they jumped off sides. Here we go, Frederica backing up. Homecoming court, if you would, please line up. Homecoming court, please line up. Here we go. That's going to be second and 15. On their 38 yard line. Quarterback waiting on the snap. Slot back motion right. Quick pitch to the Oh, looks like a pat, quick pitch and throw. And it looks like Rodney, Rodney Hill intercepted. He tossed that ball up there. And uh, you give Rodney Hill any time, he's going to be able to get there. And he went up and got it at his highest point. And we got an interception here. With 2.58 left, we take over. At our 40-yard line, we need, we need to make something happen here. Big play, big play, good job. Defense put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. He rolled out, he had a lot of pressure, got rid of it, tossed it up, and Rodney just had to go get it. Got Cam in the backfield. Uh, one split left, slot right. Willoughby drops right. Oh, looked like he had it. Oh, he had it. He completed the pass and then he dropped it. And looks like they recovered it. And they picked it up and took it down to around the 10-yard line. Wow. I don't know if he had. I don't know if he had possession of the ball. Oh. Wow. They're saying he fumbled it. He was hit right time he caught it. Ball went to the ground. Frederica picked up. Now we got first and 10 on the 10 yard line. First and goal for the Frederica Knights. Quarterback gets the ball, hand up the middle, number four. Uh, maybe about two or three yards. It's going to be second and seven, second and goal. Brings up a second and goal. Ball spotted on the eight yard line. All right. VA defense needs to step it up here. Frederica, long quarterback in the backfield. Split receivers right. One in motion, back left. Looks like he's handed number four again up the middle. Uh, probably around two or three yards on that one. Uh, it'll be third and five. Third and five. One minute and 50 seconds left in this half. Okay, Fred Rick is making some substitutions. They're taking their time. Got to be getting close to the leg game. We got two split left. Quarterback puts a receiver in motion right. He drops back to pass. Oh, broken up, broken up. 
in the end zone. That's going to bring up fourth and five. And looks like we have one minute and 20 seconds left in the half. Looks like they're bringing on the field goal team for Frederica. Looks like it's going to be on the 11 yard line, make about a 22 yard field goal. Again, here we go. Snaps down. It's like a pretty good kicker right through the middle. Uh, there's your score six to, six to nothing, Frederica. Looks like around 118 left to go in the half. We're fixing to be receiving the kickoff. It'd be nice to score right here before half. Not much time left. Again, appreciate Statesboro Power Sports sponsoring us tonight. Go see them. They, if they don't have it, they'll get it for you. They, they do a great job, customer service, and always their their motto is follow up with the sale. All right, here we go. Frederick is lining up on the tee. Got Harrison Kennedy on the right. Carter Snipes on the left. Now I'm getting some good numbers on the players. We got Roddy in the middle. Here we go. Kicked off to Rodney. I can't believe it. Here we go. Rodney spins, and not much there. Gets, gets hit and locked up pretty good around the 18-yard line. All right, 18-yard line. Here we go. Um, we've got uh, around a minute 10 left for the half. All right, here comes in Willoughby. Gets to the hollow, they break it up. Here we go. So we got trips left, split right. Nobody in the backfield except Willoughby. Drops back. Oh, looks like a call quarterback sneak and makes a pretty good run. Looks like got around seven yards. Now we're under a minute. Back up the line of scrimmage right away. Willoughby rolls right. Looking for somebody to be open. Throws downfield. Broke up by Frederica around the 45-yard line. So we got 40 seconds left. It's going to be, looks like third and four still. Got a flag down. I think that may be, yeah, looks like a lit ineligible man downfield. All righty. They're marking it off. Wow. It's going to put us on the 20 yard line. All right, they start the whistle blow. The referee blows the whistle. It's like second down and 20. Here we go. Willoughby throws it downfield. Rodney, oh, wow. He was covered by two and almost still caught the ball. That's going to make it third and third down, and we're on around the 20-yard line, and we've got about 33 seconds left in the half.
All right, here we go. Third and nine. Quarterback gets the ball. It's like a quarter, call quarterback sneak, and there's nothing there. He gets met on, met on the right side. I don't think there's any gain on that one. It's going to be fourth and nine. Looks like we're going to bring on the punting team. Fourth and nine with around 24 seconds left in the half. All right, we're back to punt. Ball snap. Gets the ball off. Goes to about the, oh, there we go. Hit about the 48 and gets a BA roll down to their 34 yard line. Looks like we have 11 seconds left. Don't let them get behind you, BA. Keep everybody in front. Don't let anybody get behind you. Eleven seconds left in the half, and Fred Rica's offense comes on the field. Our defense is ready. We hope. I hope they are. They look ready. Uh, looks like Fred Rica's still taking instructions from the sideline. Here we go. They're lining up. Splits right. Oh, got a. Don't know what's going on now. The referee. Yeah, delay a game. That's what I was thinking. They were taking a long time to get huddled up. First and 15. First and 15. On 28 yard line, 11 seconds left. Got the slot back in motion left. Hand off to the running back up the middle. Oh, gets around seven, eight yards. What's that? That's it for the half. Six to nothing, Frederica. And halftime, and now we're getting ready for the homecoming crowning. A lot of anxious girls right now. We'll see how it goes. I'll update you shortly after the half. Statesboro Power Sports is a proud supporter of BA Athletics. We are Southeast Georgia's largest power sports dealer. We carry lines like Polaris, Can Am, Suzuki, Alumacraft, Sea Doo, Sea Fox, and Tiger Surf Boats. We have easy financing available for everyone. Come by Statesboro Power Sports and see the difference.
daughter of Everett and Stacy Kennedy, and tonight she is escorted by her father. This scholar athlete participates in track and both competition and sideline cheerleading, and also serves as secretary of her sophomore class. Alexandra sings in the CLP band, and she is a member of the Literary Girls Trio, yearbook staff, and FCA. She had plans to attend college in the future. Next is Bella Williams. Bella is the daughter of Christopher Williams and the late Marion Williams. She is escorted tonight by her cousin and VA alumni, Garrett Williams. The scholar athlete competes in competition cheerleading and track. She was a member of the state runner-up competition cheer team in 2019 and placed six in the 100 meter at state track her eighth grade year. She shares that her favorite thing about BA is getting to spend time with Coach Courtney, Mr. McClure, and Ms. Kinsley every day. Our next group comes from the junior class. We start this group with Avery Bobian. She is the daughter of David and Jill Bobian, and she is escorted tonight by her father. This yearly headmaster student and class vice president is a member of FCA and the National Honor Society. The scholar athlete is a sideline and competition cheerleader and plays soccer. She shares that her favorite BA memory is winning state runner-up in competition cheer last year. She has plans to attend college in the future. Next is Kennedy Jones. She is the daughter of Brian Jones and Shannon Jones and Lauren Brunson. She is escorted tonight by her dad, Brian. The yearly headmaster student received the Sonova Citizenship Award in the 10th grade and the Art Award in the 9th grade. She enjoys running and drawing and math is her favorite subject. Kennedy has also shared that she enjoys assisting elementary teachers and working with students in her early childhood class. Her favorite memory is doing the limbo during pep rallies. Kennedy plans to attend college and study criminal justice. She would love to be an FBI agent one day. Carolyn Riggs is the daughter of Jim and Julie Riggs. She is escorted tonight by her father. This scholar athlete participates in sideline and competition cheer and is a member of FCA. She was named a UCA All-American cheerleader at UCA camp in 2019. Caroline is a dedicated member of Cheer Savannah as in a fifth year world's all-star cheerleader. She shares that one of the things that she loves about BA is Friday morning prayers with Coach Hodges. She plans to cheer in college and major in early childhood education. <coughs> Our final junior is Allie Walden. She is the daughter of Athen and Abby Walden and she is escorted tonight by her father. The yearly headmaster student is a member of FCA and the National Honor Society and currently serves as the class treasurer. She is a sideline cheerleader and shares that what she loves most about BA is cheering at pep rallies and games. This scholar athlete is a recipient of the Sonova Citizenship Award. She plans to attend college after graduation. Now it is time to introduce our seniors. First is Garris Boykin. Garris is the daughter of David and Beth Boykin and is escorted tonight by her dad. This headmaster list student and class treasurer has participated in basketball, shotgun, archery, and tennis during her time at Bullock Academy. Her leadership skills earned her a spot at the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference her sophomore year and then on Hobie Junior staff. Garris is the handler of a grand hunting retriever, retriever champion and has placed second in the country in super retriever serves with her dog boss. She plans to attend either Clemson, Vanderbilt, or Sanford next year. <coughs> Ella Burke is the daughter of Jerry and Amy Burke, and she is escorted tonight by her dad. This, this yearly headmaster student has been a member of the BA soccer team all four years of high school. Ella is a member of the youth leadership team at Statesboro First Methodist. She was also accepted in the SALT program at Camp Crest Ridge, which is a leadership counselor program. A favorite memory for her is the 10th grade Blue Ridge trip with her class. She plans to attend the University of Georgia or Georgia Southern in the fall. Our next senior is Annabeth Burnsett. She is the daughter of Neil and Cheryl Burnsett and is escorted tonight by her father. This yearly headmaster student is a member of the National Honor Society and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She served as a Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership 
seminar ambassador, and then later as a junior staff member. She shares that a favorite BA memory was the ninth grade trip to Nashville. She hopes to attend the University of Georgia and major in biology with hopes of attending medical school. Next is Hartley Faircloth. Hartley is the daughter of Ashley De Caesar. She is escorted tonight by her brothers, Ashton and Brandon Faircloth. The scholar athlete plays softball and is a member of the 2019 State Runner-Up Competition Cheer Team. She was named All-Region in softball in 2018 and was on the State Runner-Up team. The Lady Gators were also region champs in 2019 and 2020. She has also been named an All-American softball player. She plans to attend college and become a nurse. Next is Liv Finley. She is the daughter of Cliff and Michelle Finley and is escorted tonight by her dad. Voted best all around by her senior class, Liv is an honor roll student, member of the National Honor Society, and a well-rounded athlete. She has been named both an All-State and UCA All-American cheerleader, was awarded All-Region in softball, and participates in soccer and track. Liv was on the 2018 Softball State Runner-Up Team, as well as the 2019 Competition Cheer State Runner-Up Team. Her favorite BA memory was being back-to-back -back region champions in softball. Liv hopes to attend either Georgia Southern or GCSU in the fall. Lily Hiller is our next senior. She is the daughter of Jim and Wendy Hiller and is escorted tonight by her dad. This yearly headmaster student is a member of the National Honor Society and was chosen for Youth Leadership Bullock. She has competed in track and went to state from the 11th, 8th to the 11th grades. She has qualified for the National Equestrian Finals for the past three years. She shared her favorite BA memories are the ninth grade field trip to Nashville or the state track meet her 10th grade year. She plans to attend UGA in the fall and major in ecology. Tanner Kaiser is the daughter of Scott and Kim Kaiser and she is escorted tonight by her father. She has participated in softball, basketball, and soccer. During her junior year, she was named Player of the Week for Soccer. She shared that a favorite BA memory is all of the fun softball bus rides this year and making it to the Final Four this season. She plans to attend college and major in nursing. Next is Lauren Lanier. She is the daughter of Brett and Pam Lanier and is escorted tonight by her dad. This scholar athlete has participated in sideline cheer and track. She has been a member of FCA, Y Club, and the National Honor Society. Lauren was chosen for Youth Leadership Bullock and the Linda, Linda Brandon Williamson Leadership Class. She has been a member of the Technique Dance Company Elite Competition Team for five years. Her favorite BA memory is cheering for football games on Friday night. She plans to attend college next year. Our next senior is Sarah Mathis. Sarah is the daughter of Stacy and Ben Mathis and is escorted tonight by her father. She is a headmaster's list student, a member of the National Honor Society, and has worked on the yearbook staff. Sarah is also a member of the soccer team. Sarah enjoys tutoring younger students as well as her job at the Bank of Newington. She also loves spending time with her family at the lake. Sarah plans to attend college and later go to law school to become an attorney. Our next senior is Kendall Overturf. She is the daughter of Joe and Heather Overturf, and she is escorted tonight by her father. Kendall has been a member of the one-act play team all four years of high school. She has won first and second place at Regional Literary and Dramatic Interpretation. This yearly headmaster student loves photography and being behind the camera at school events. She serves as secretary of the National Honor Society and volunteers for the Special Olympics. Kendall hopes to one day become a teacher. Lily Sumner is our next senior. She is the daughter of Phil and Hope Sumner and is escorted by her father. Lily received the Trustees Award for having the highest grade point average in the high school in both her sophomore and junior years. She attended the Governor's Honors Program in the summer of 2019 with a major in Communicative Arts. Lily serves as Student Council Secretary and is a member of the math team. She was also voted most likely to succeed by her senior class. She plans to attend either Georgia Southern or UGA next year. Up next is Isabella Toms. 
Isabella is the daughter of Richard and Jamie Toms and is escorted tonight by her father. She is on the yearly headmasters list and was voted best to take home to your parents by her senior class. Isabella attended the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference as an ambassador and later a junior staff member. She is a member of the Varsity Sideline Cheer Team and was named a UCA All-American Cheerleader. She also dances with Technique Dance Company's Elite Competition Team. Isabella plans to attend college next year. Marley Williams is our next senior. Marley is the daughter of Christopher Williams and the late Marion Williams. She is escorted tonight by her dad. She is a yearly Headmasters List student and scholar athlete. Marley was a member of the back-to-back -back region championship softball team, and she played fo placed fourth in the state in discus during her sophomore year. One of her favorite things she has participated in while at BA is assisting athletic trainer Chris Horton during football games. Marley hopes to attend the University of Florida and major in athletic training. Our final senior is Leah Williford. She is the daughter of Tara Williford and Todd Williford, and she is escorted tonight by her father. Leah is a yearly Headmasters List student and a recipient of the Sonova Citizenship Award. She was voted most athletic by her senior class and plays softball, basketball, and soccer. Leah has been named all region in both softball and basketball, as well as all state in softball. She was also chosen for the all-star softball team this year. Leah's favorite BA memory is playing in the softball state championship her sophomore year. She plans to attend college and pursue a degree in physical therapy. Please help me welcome back our 2019 homecoming queen, Emmy David. Emmy is the daughter of Brad and Sydney David. She currently attends the University of Georgia where she pledged Phi Mu sorority this semester. We are so happy to have her back with us tonight. Assisting Emmy as she crowns our new queen is BA's head of school, Miss Lisa Houghton. And there you have it. Your 2020 homecoming queen is Lauren Lanier. Congratulations to our new queen and all of the young ladies on the homecoming court tonight.
Statesboro Power Sports is a proud supporter of BA Athletics. We are Southeast Georgia's largest power sports dealer. We carry lines like Polaris, Can Am, Suzuki, Alumacraft, Sea Doo, Sea Fox, and Tiger Surf Boats. We have easy financing available for everyone. Come by Statesboro Power Sports and see the difference. All right, starting the second half. Uh, looks like uh, BA is going to be kicking off. Hey, here's an idea: looking to practice your social distancing. How about check out Statesboro Power Sports, and you can social distance in style. Give, 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 them, give them a look, people. They're great people. All righty, our Olin Anderson is teeing it up. Start the second half. Hopefully we'll be a little more productive and restrictive on our defense up the middle because that's what's hurt us is just running straight at us. All right, Olin kicks it. Looks like it gets it about, their guy gets about the four yard line and he's returning it up the middle. Breaks a few blocks. Oh, got a pretty good. Oh, he, did he fumble the ball? The ball's fumbled. Ball Looks the like they the have it back, um, and it's going to be Frederick's ball on the 48-yard line. And we got flags down. All right, that's going to be good. It's going to be against Frederica. They're going to move them back. 15 yards to around the um, almost 30 yard line. Ball spotted on the 30 yard line. So the Knights will begin first and 10. By the way, congratulations to Lauren Lanier. You look beautiful tonight. Good job. All the girls in the court did a great job. I'm sure their parents are proud of them. Congratulations, Lauren Lanier. Homecoming queen this year at BA. All right, slot back in motion, hands it to the running back, and he get he got some room. He's on the outside, right side. Whoo! Looks like around 27 yard pickup. Oh, we got a flag down. Got a flag down. Looks like after the play. Big run around the right hand side. Flag down after the that play. That usually means a late hit or unsportsmanlike. Let's see what happens. Crew's getting together. Let's see what we got. Looks like um, some of the fans aren't happy, so it looks to be against Frederica. Happened on their sideline. Yep. 
personal foul against them. We're going to back them up. All the way back to their 40 yard line. First and 10 on 40 yard line for Federica. Well, I'll take that back. Whoa. <laughs> First and a long way. It's not 10. Uh, So they, they, yeah, it's going to be a sideline infraction instead is what they're saying. And looks like the referee's still talking to them. Frederica's getting a warning for the sideline. No, they actually called him for it, and it looks like it's going to be Taking them back to the 30 yard line. It's going to be um, first down, and it looks like it appears to be around 30. After the mark off, we're looking at a second and 40. I've been staying corrected. Second and 40. Second and 40. And the coach is still wanting to talk to um, the Frederica coach is still wanting to talk to the referee. He keeps on, they may, the assistant coach may step in. All right, there's a timeout on the field. ME Marketing, your advantage over the comp competition? Go see Mandy Edwards. ME Marketing. Slow internet. If you're like me, you don't need to mess around with that stuff, especially your business. Um, make sure you check out Bullock Solutions for all your inter internet IT solutions. I, they're still huddling up over there talking with the coach of Frederica, trying to calm him down. I think their patience is growing thin, but they're still talking. Eleven thirty-nine left to go in the third quarter. Ball's on the thirty-yard line. Looks like about second and forty. Second and forty after the penalty on Frederica's sideline. <coughs> the referees are still getting together. Both teams have lined up, ready to go, and the referees are still getting together. No whistle's been blown. There's still talking. Oh, they changed it again. It's first and 40. Sorry, y'all. First and 40 on the 30 yard line. Lost a down and took the penalty. No loss of down. It's first and 40. Wow. They got a long conversation going. All righty, looks like they're get, fixing get ready to get it going. Secondary judge get back in position. They're getting ready to start to play finally. Still no whistle, waiting. <laughs> Frederica's coach still... Still talking to the white hat, the head guy. All right, here we go. Finally, got the whistle.
All right, here we go. Split left. Got two split out left. One right. One man in the backfield. Slot man in motion. Hand off up the middle. And it's like a pickup of around seven yards. Hand off number four over the right hand side. Pick up about seven. Oh, uh, that'll put the ball around the 39 yard line. Third down, 31. Third down, 31. Looks like all the players on Frederick are checking their wrists. They're changing the play at the line. Two split left, slot back. Slot back in motion left. Quarterback quick pitch left to the running back, number four. Oh, he's met hard. Malone Kaysen hit him pretty good right there um, after he got picked up about a yard. I think they're going to be punting on this one. It's going to be fourth down and 25 on the 39. Fourth down and 25 yards to go. We got uh, a long man back. It's Carter Snipes. He's standing on, his, on our, on his 25-yard line. Good snap. Uh, Carter's going to fair catch it right there at the 24-yard um, line. We take over the ball at the almost a 25, and let's see if we can get something going. All right, the rep getting ready to start to play, and there's a whistle being blown by blowing the ball dead. Let's see what's going on. Okay, referee's getting in sync. Here we go. First and 10 on our 25. Will it be under snap? Here we go. Hand up to Rodney up the middle. Rodney finds a seam. He breaks free. He breaks free. There you go. Good job. Good job of blocking, and Rodney did the rest. He found the seam. Looks like he got to around the 41-yard line. 41-yard line. It's first and 10. No, I'm sorry. First and 10 on our 47. First and 10 on the 47. It's going to be a Statesboro Power Sports first down. Man in motion, what's going on? Looks like somebody wasn't set. Here we go. Looks like it's gonna be against BA. Mark, gonna take it, take us back first and 15 on the 42. Come on guys. All right, Bullet Gators coming up to the line. Just under 10 minutes to go in this third quarter. Man in motion left. And off in the middle, Rodney finds a seam, runs over somebody. He's starting, he's starting to get a little momentum going. Our, our linemen are holding their blocks. He picked up about 10 on that one. He crossed it. Crosses the 50-yard line. Around the 47, heading towards them. Here we go. We're getting a little momentum going here. Come on, guys. Better in a 4-3. Handing off to Rodney. Same play up the middle. And he's going to pick up uh, States for Power Sports first down. Okay, the ball's on the um, 
43-yard line. Around 8.50 left in the third quarter. First and 10, B.A. Break the huddle, come to the line. Got two split left, one right. Got hard snap. <coughs> Changing the play. Willoughby looks at the sideline. Hand off to number 20. That's going to be Cam. Number 20, Cam Harris. Cam Harris at the left side, maybe a yard. Maybe a yard. Second nine, we huddle up. We'll be getting instructions from the sideline. It's going to be second nine. Here we go. Our offensive line seems to have gotten a little momentum and some instruction at halftime, doing a better job up front. Rodney to the handoff to the right, runs over some people, breaks some tackles, still struggling. Gets down around the 31-yard line. State's Borough Power Sports, first down, B.A. 7.35 left in the third. First and 10 on our 32. Looks like um, our offensive line and running backs are starting to um, sink a little. They made some adjustments at halftime, obviously, because they're starting to move the ball a little. Got two split left. Carter Snipes, looks like, and Harrison Kennedy. Case Murphy in motion. Let's see, here we go. Oh, nothing there. Hand off to the right at the middle. Okay, Garrison Lee over the right side was met right there at the line. And second and nine. He's going to put us about second and nine. He gained maybe a yard. All right, William Willoughby on the sideline getting instruction. Goes back to the huddle. 6 6 minutes and a half left in the third quarter. We got two split out left. Will be under snap. Uh fake up the middle, throws a pass. Oh, and is in his hands but he bobbled it. We missed it. Harrison had to come back for the ball and just didn't get around quick enough didn't look like. Not a bad pass. It's just um, got there a little quicker than he expected. And couldn't hang on to it. Here we go. Third and nine on our 31. That's way to run it. All right, we go up to the line, third and nine. Here we go. This is our best offensive drive so far of the night. We got... Split out on both sides of the receivers. A pass up the middle. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pass up the middle. <laughs> pass up the middle to Rodney. He was covered by three people. He still comes down with it. They're holding on to him. He takes them in, takes them down to the one yard line. I know. Oh my gosh. They got a free ride there. They're going to have to pay some fare on that one. He had those legs moving and he didn't stop. Ball on the one foot line. All right, we're to, we're at our one yard line. We got to punch it in right here. We split. Got got them split out right and left. Looks like a quarterback sneak. Uh, did he get in? Touchdown, BA. Touchdown. We're tied at six. 5.43 left to go in the third, 6-6. Six, six. Good push by the offensive line. Will we just follow behind them? Mm -hmm. Here comes Olin for the extra point, Olin Anderson. Well, 
waiting for the snap. Snap's good, place down. Looks like right through the middle. BA is on top, seven to six. They got a little momentum going. Let's keep it going, Bullock Academy. 5.43 left to go in the third quarter. We'll be kicking off 7-6 to Bullock Academy. All I can say is some great effort on our offensive line. They made some adjustments. And Rodney Hill um, made some great plays, great determination, and um, that's what he called a football team. It's a team, a team effort. The Gators ground in the background as we get ready to kick. I didn't know what a Gator sounded like until Robbie Sapp told me. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's scary. Here we go. Olin's kicking off. Uh, kicks it to the round. Oh, kicks it in the end zone. Looks like everybody's got a little momentum going right now. That's what you like to see. Here we go. We're starting on defense. We're going to be um, because of touchback on 20 yard line on defense. All right, they got two split out on each side. <laughs> Slot back. I can go ahead and tell you it's going to probably be in motion. Okay, motion right. Hand off to the right. And he finds a little seam. Looks like he gets about seven, seven and a half yards. Number four on the right hand side. Gain of about seven. I a second and three. They're on the 27. Second down and three, about five minutes left in the third quarter. BA's on defense. We got our back to the swamp. They're tied. They're driving towards the swamp, and we, we're um, trying to hold them right here, get something, get something going on defense, a handoff to the right side. He mm, got the first down and more. He's struggling. Great effort with the running back for Frederica. We got to lock up, guys. Uh, to the almost 40 yard line, first and 10. Jordan Pippen, right hand side. Once again, first down Great effort. Oh, we got a guy going off the field and they snapped the ball. So we're going to probably have too many, on the, too many people in the huddle. We call time? Okay. I was advised to call timeout, thank goodness. So, no penalty. Timeout, David. All right. Don't forget, people, go check out Bullock Solutions for all your internet IT needs. They do a great job and highly recommended. Statesboro Power Sports is a proud supporter of BA Athletics. We are Southeast Georgia's largest power sports dealer. We carry lines like Polaris, Can-Am, Suzuki, Alumacraft, Sea-Doo, Sea Fox, and Tiger Surf Boats. We have easy financing available for everyone. Come by Statesboro Power Sports and see the difference. All right, guys, we're back in action here. We're on the 40-yard line. Uh, we're on defense. And Frederica got the snap, handoff to the run. Got half back, and he goes on the left for about a six-yard gain.
Just past uh, 41. Uh, looks like s about a second and five on 45. Third quarter with about 428 remaining. VA up seven to six over Frederica. Frederica waiting on the snap. Quick pass right. Oh, um, one of our guys on defense almost either either picked off or batted it down, but got it to him, and he picked up the first down for Frederica. Uh, they're on our 52, driving. First and 10, I'm sorry, 52. They're on our 48, what am I saying? They're on our 48. And here we go. Got one split right, no, got twins right, slot left, one in the backfield, the quarterback, motion left. Quick pitch to the running back to the left side. Got a lot of BA uniforms over there. Looks like he picked up around six yards on that one. Looks like around second and five on their 44 yard line. Something big needs to happen. We need to stand up right here on defense. You got two split out right, slot man in motion left, back right, handoff to the right. Met at the line by B.A. Tyler Padgett stuck him up in the hole, kept him to about one or two yards. It's going to put third and six. Um, it's like they're on their 41 yard line. And looks like it's a third and three, third and three, with two minutes left in the third quarter. Slot man in motion left, back right, hand up up the middle. Oh, good running. And so they're going to move the chains again. First down, Frederica. Looks like they're on the 34 yard line, first and 10. First down. Looks like um, Frederica is changing the play here. All the one to play here. Got split right, man in motion left. Quarterback gets the snap, quick pass to the right, and good play, good play. Garrison Lee wrapped him up right when he caught the ball. Um, looks like he got maybe a yard. Garrison wrapped him up. It's going to be second and nine on their 34. We got a minute and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Changing the play again. Got wide split left. Hand off at the middle. He goes left. Maybe a pickup of three. Good job. Good job, defense. Got him before he got, wrapped him up before he got going. We, um, third and seven on their 32. Third and seven. Defense needs to stack it right here and make a play and lock up. Here we go. All right, here we go. Um, looks like the offensive coach for Frederica is changing the play. Two split left, one right, slot man. Right. Gives to the guy in motion right. He looks like he jumped over one of our guys and may have got a first down. We'll see. No, nah, he's a little shy. He's a little shy of the first down. That ends the third quarter. And Frederica's knocking on the door. Switching sides of the field. B.A. is the 
players are motivated, trying to pump everybody up on the sideline as we go into the fourth quarter. Hey, everybody, check out ME Marketing, Mandy Edwards. Um, they do a great job, and um, it's your advantage on the competition. Go check them out. All right, we're switching, switching sides here. Our backs are going to be at West Side Road. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Steve Pennington out there. Um, give him some last minute advice on the defense. And here we go. We're um, getting ready to go. It's uh, second and one on the eight on eight yard line. We got to hold them here. We're ahead seven to six. Starting the fourth quarter, man in motion left, handoff up the middle. Uh, looks like we stood him up, but they did get a first down. Just like it's going to be first and goal around five yards. Uh, maybe five and a half, five and a half. They're on our five and a half, knocking on the door. We got to do, we got to stand up here. Frederica getting instructions from the sideline, checking their wristbands, changing the play. Um, got two split left, one right. Man in motion, slot back. It's going to be a quick pitch left, number four. Oh, he is mid hard, lost his helmet. Somebody's got to come out. Malone Casey's going to come out. He lost his helmet on the hit. And looks like he. May have picked up a yard. Um, second and five on the five. Here we go. Second and five on the five. Four quarter with 11 minutes left. Two in the backfield. No, we got three in the backfield. Here we go. Oh, met hard at the line by B.A. They stood up right there. Harrison put some pads on him that time. Harrison Lee, Garrison Lee hit him pretty good. Here we go. Third and five on the five. Got a handoff at the middle. Oh, he's met hard. Whoa. Let me find this guy's number. 51. Big stop by your Gator defense on third and goal. Bring in the field goal team. That was a near Colson, I believe. Uh, he about knocked him in the last week. That was a great play. Uh, they come line up for a field goal. Um, it's going to be about a 20-yard field goal. And that puts them ahead. Um, Ten minutes left in the fourth quarter. They just took the lead. It's nine to seven, Frederica. We will be receiving the kickoff. Right, just kicked off, and looks like Cam uh, Rodney's going to receive it in the middle. He finds the seam in the middle, does the spinning. He breaks free. He's still going past the 50. 
Throw somebody down, gets around the 52 yard line. We got a flag though, we got a flag. It could have been a face mask, I'm not sure. Could have been a face mask on Frederica. I'm not 100%. The way he slung him down though, it could have been a face mask. Let's see what happened. They're still talking about it. Face mask, oh, against us. Huh, that's what they're saying. I guess Rod, Rodney, Rodney put his hand out, stiff arm, and must have grabbed the face mask. Foul. Face mask against the Gators. Still puts us in great field position. We're on the 37-yard line with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Forty-six. Bryson Scott's coming off the field. He looks like he did something with his ankle. The offense is heading up to the line. Got two split right, slot man right. Rodney uh, fakes a handoff. Willoughby throws, complete around the fifty-yard line. Harrison Kennedy, first down, B.A. at the 51. Moving to change. Statesboro Power Stars, first down. For the first down, ball is across midfield. We're at the 51. What we need is a good, good, slow drive right here. No mistakes. Keep, keep the ball off the ground. And then play some defense and... That's how we would like for it to go anyway. Here we go, we're splitting out two to the left. Hand off to the running back, Rodney, up the middle. There's nothing there. I don't think he got a yard on that one. It's like it's gonna be second and 10 on our 49 or 50. Second and call it nine and a half. Yeah, but looks like it's going to be a spot around the 49. Second and 10. We got nine minutes left to go in the fourth. Got two split out left. Slot back left. Uh, fake to Rodney. Uh, another pass to Harrison. Harrison made two people miss. Complete to Harrison. And it's like he, let's see. Be short of the first down, bring up a manageable third and three. Looks like he picked up around seven, eight yards on that one. We look about third and three. Third and three on the 42. We're driving. We've got two split right, slot right. Hard snap. Willoughby stands up. Looks back at the coach, seeing what they would do. Quick pitch, Rodney Wright. Finds a seam up the middle. He's still going. Somebody looked like he had a horse collar, and there's a penalty right there. Good job. Uh, we're on the 30, and looks like one of Fred Rica pulled him down by the back of the shoulder pads. So that should tackle on another 15. Yeah, they're marking it off. Ooh, I want to score, but I just, we got eight minutes left. So, so first down and 15 tack down puts us up to 15. Going towards our scoreboard. First and 10. On the 15, around eight minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. We're splitting out two to the right. Got a slot back in motion left. Hand off to Rodney up the middle. He's met right there at the line. I don't think there's anything there. Willow, Willoughby steps in, smart, smart move by the quarterback. One of his players were <coughs> jawing it with a Frederica player and he stepped in and pulled him away. Okay, here we go, a second and 10 on the 15. The 
quarterback going back to the huddle. All right, we got two split out right, one left. Looks like Cam's in the backfield, Cam Harrison. There we go. Willoughby throws, roll out, throw. Whoa, almost intercepted, but I thought I saw a flag. We got a flag. We got a flag right in the center of the lineman here. That's usually where they threw it. Could be a holding call. Hope not. Yeah, looks like it's going to be holding on Bullock Academy. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be second and 20 now on our 29-yard line with seven minutes left here in the fourth quarter. We need to pick up about 10 or 12 here and it'll make it manageable. Here we go. we got... Two split left, two split right, everybody split out. We got a slot back, Willoughby's lone man. He calls the quarterback sneak, and he's mm, probably a pick up about five yards. Uh, looks like we're about a 22 yard line. Third and 12. Third and 12, this is manageable. I know, I know Olin Anderson can kick it from here. Um, so um, it'd be nice to get about six or seven more yards, keep it in the center of the field. <laughs> He's got the leg, we know that. He's got the leg. All right, we got him split out. One slot man left. Here we go. Hauls a pass to Rodney in the end zone. Did he catch it? He caught it. Came down with it, double covered. Great pass. Rodney went up and got it. He was covered pretty well, but Rodney went up and got the ball, came down to, in the left corner of the end zone. And had plenty of time to throw the ball. The offensive line did a great job. Exactly. All righty. Line up for the extra. Point. Now right, we got a whistle on the play. Timeout, Bullock Academy. They may be thinking about going for two. Statesboro Power Sports is a proud supporter of BA Athletics. We are Southeast Georgia's largest power sports dealer. We carry lines like Polaris, Can Am, Suzuki, Alumacraft, Sea Doo, Sea Fox, and Taiga Surf Boats. We have easy financing available for everyone. Come by Statesboro Power Sports and see the difference. All right. Right. Well, here we go. We're lining back up. Um, six minutes left. And looks like we're going for two. Willoughby's under snap. And he quick picks to Rodney. And I don't think he got in. So it's going to be 13 to nine here with six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Six minutes left. Whew, good game, it's a great game. 13, nine. All right, we're getting ready to kick off here. Let's see here. Um, our kicker, Olin Anderson, is lining up. Nice, 
40 yard line. We're going to be kicking it back towards our scoreboard. They'll be receiving, heading towards the West Side Road. Here we go. And Olin's kicking it off. Looks like it's going to go about five yards deep in the end zone. No return. All right, Frederica's got the ball. Their 20 yard line. And we got to do something on defense. We got six minutes left to go, fourth quarter. <coughs> got to stand up here, defense. Don't let them get behind you and lock up. Here we go. They've got one split left, two split right. One in backfield, quarterback rolls out left. He's looking for number four, nothing there. He takes off running. Looks like he got maybe. Let's see how many yards they're gonna give him on that one. Maybe, well, he picked up around five on that one, they said. Gonna be second and five, 549 left in the fourth quarter. The whole offense is looking at the coach, getting to play, looking at the wristbands, lining up. Got two split right, one left. A man in motion right, handoff to the running back. Right side, he breaks free in the middle. Oh! Oh, Harrison Kennedy tripped him up around the 50-yard line. He hit the hole and was in his, at the second level very quick, and we didn't respond and finally caught up to him around the 50-yard line. Well, on, they're on the 49, heading our way. With 5.30 left, fourth quarter. Hand off to the same guy, number 20, on the left side. He runs hard. He runs hard. He picked up around two on that one. All righty, here we go. Come on, B.A. We're on the 40, they're on our 47 yard line driving. Two split right, four quarter. B.A. up, 13 to nine. Oh, over the, snapped over the quarterback's head. Oh, wow. He did a lot of scrambling and somehow four or five players Touched him, but we finally got him back down at the line of scrimmage. All right, snap the ball, and looks like he may have a first down. That was a quick snap, gave it to the running back up the middle. Looks like it may move the change. We'll see. All right, fourth down. Fourth down, they're going for it. Less, less than six inches. Man up the middle. He's got the first down and more. We've got to slow this thing down a little. Come on, guys. It's going to be first down for Frederica. About three minutes and 50 seconds left, fourth quarter. They're starting to get close, and they're on our 36-yard um, line. Again, they're heading towards West Side Road. Here we go. Quick pitch to running back to the left. And he picks his way, gets about five or six yards. He stayed in bounds. The clock's running. It's 3.20 left, fourth quarter. It's going to be around second. It's going to be around five yards for the first down. It's second down and five. They're on our 35. Um, hand off to the left, number 20. He's like a little water bug. He's not that big, but he's quick. 
It looks like we may have a player down. He's getting up slow. All right, Frederica is getting back up and getting set quick. We need we need to get set. Third and four on our 28. Got two split right, one in slot back in motion right, handoff right, right up the middle. I think he may have gotten it. It's going to be close. Yeah, they're moving the chains. First down, Frederica. They're on our 25 and um, two minutes and 30 seconds left, full quarter. Two split right, slot man in motion right, and handoff to the right. He goes back, cuts back left around the end, and he breaks free. Looks like he got right in one first one down to the one yard line. Wow. Wesley Joyce knocked him out, looked like around the one yard line. So now it's going to be first and goal on the one yard line with 2.17 left. We still got time. Okay, quick snap and flag down the backfield. We Offsides on Frederica. I almost hate that call. <laughs> I almost hate the call. Let them, if they're going to score, score quick. We'll have more time. But here we go. Yeah. Let them walk in. But if we make a big play here, it may be worth it. Here, um, let's see. They're on the seven-yard line driving, and um, it's going to be first and seven. Handoff up the middle. He cuts back left. Looks like he's going to get in. Touchdown, Frederica. They're back on top. Two minutes left. 2.07 left in fourth quarter. But the good news is we have 2.07, so we can still get down the field, people. We're still we're not out of this. I, I can tell our defense looks tired, but um, our offense looks like they had a lot of energy these last two drives. So we'll see how it goes. They're lined up for the extra point. Snaps down. Good kick. That puts Fred Rick at 16, BA 13. We just have to get it. Worst, second best scenario is we get down and let Olin kick it. Best thing that can happen is, is we just, somebody breaks free and we get on, get on down the field and use the clock on some short passes, getting out, getting out of bounds, stopping the clock. We have a chance. We just got to go in speed speed mode right here. Here we go. Our guys are lining up to return the kick. Got um, Rodney and they didn't keep it Rodney. Um, Rodney's in the middle. You got Carter on the right side, closest to the bypass, and then you got Harrison on the right. Uh, they blew the whistle, blew the ball dead. See what's going on. Down, offside, gotcha. Looks like uh, Fred Reed is going to be backed up and kick again. They were offsides. <laughs> Frederica's got their adrenaline going right now, and one of their guys uh, jumped the gun. 16-13, uh, 207 left, and they're kicking it, kicking it off to us. And we'll be trying to drive to the scoreboard here. Here we go. We're heading towards our scoreboard. There's a kick. It's to, uh, looks like uh, Rodney's going to pick it about the 12-yard line. And they wrap him up around the 25. We'll be starting on the 25. Oh, about three flags down. Let's see what's going on. And looks like a Frederica player is. Trying to um, tell the referee he didn't mean to do it. So here we go. Let's see what happens. 
we got two minutes left, and they're marking it against them. Looks like 15 yards. It's going to put us up at the 39 yard line. First and 10 on the 39, two minutes left. Um, we are behind by three points, 16 to 13. Got to get close enough for a field goal. Best scenario is we score on them. Here we go. All right, a quarterback rolls out right. Looks downfield. He's got somebody open. He catches it. Roundy. There goes. They're going to mark his forward momentum. Let's see where they're marking it. Oh, here we go. They're marking it at the 46 yard line. 46 yard line. 139 left. Four quarter. Snap. Here we go. We'll be looking. Throw. Oh. He threw a good pass, and um, one of our one of our guys just uh, bobbled the ball, didn't catch it. I would have picked us up about ten yards. It stops the clock, which is a good thing. It's third and four. One twenty-five left. We're behind by three, sixteen thirteen, and we're at the forty-six yard line. That gave um, Willoughby time to go get some instructions. We're splitting out trips left. One on the right, Willoughby's in a long backfield. Rolls out left. Good coverage, good block. Oh, wow, what a, what a play. What a play. That's next level right there. Pope caught that ball right there at the end zone, had both feet in, went out, stopped the clock. It's about a 25-yard play. Uh, puts us on the 42. I'm sorry. Yeah, 42 heading towards our end zone. We got 119 left. They didn't even run off much time on the clock. Great play. Great play. Great pass. Great catch. We'll take about three more of those. Got trips right. Will be gets the ball. Rolls out right. He's got. He's being chased. Oh, there it is again. Same play. Opposite side. Wow. We got a flag down. Let's see. Oh, man. Gosh, that was a great play. Great play, opposite side. From Willoughby to Pope. He would have been right there at the first down. They're going to back us up. Oh man, offsides. We got 113 left. They're going to mark it off. It's going to put us at the 48 yard line. Almost to 48. We're behind by 316 13 with a minute 13 left. We get up to the line. We got trips right. One left, slot back, and Willoughby's the lone man. In the backfield. Oh, he was had pressure. Did a great move getting away from him. Oh, my gosh. What a play by Willoughby. Oh, my gosh. He had people all over him. He juked them out. Put the ball down like he was going to run and then found Harrison Kennedy for 10 yards. Wow. Great play. Second and six. 50, 50 seconds left. He rolls out right, rolls out right, looking, looking. Incomplete, stops the clock, 41 seconds. <coughs> wow. Third and five on our 37. Third and five on our 37 with 41 seconds left. Incomplete pass, stopped it. Well, I'd say about 36. We're on our 36, third and five. We are getting close to Olin's range. We probably need to get about the, to be safe, around 28 yard line, to be safe. So we're about six or seven yards away. Here we go. 
trips right, same thing. Got one left, slot back. Quarterback's by himself in the backfield. He's looking for Harrison downfield. The guy's holding it short. He got a flag. Harrison's being held on the left, left shoulder. Harrison's uh, jersey's completely hanging off his right side from that one. That's pretty obvious. That puts us in field goal range, so things are looking positive. Here we go. <coughs> All right, well, they're marking it off. That's going to help. We're first and 10. That puts us at the, what a game. Puts us at the 26-yard line. Heading towards our end zone. We're behind by three, 16, 13, 36 seconds left. All right, guys. Um, Frederica, looks like they got their hands on their hips. They're a little frustrated. Here we go. Got trips right again. Harrison, long, long receiver to the left. Okay, Willoughby's got the snap, rolls out right. He lobs it up for Harrison or... Oh, we got it! Do we catch it? Oh, great play by Harrison. He almost came down with it. It was over Rodney's head, and Harrison fell backwards, almost made a great catch. He was just behind Rodney. Got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left, it's second and 10 on our 26. Here we go. Our guys get up to the line, they look good. They're set. Will be surveying the field, gets the ball, rolls out right. He's being chased by two guys, gets rid of it. No, it's incomplete. So we got third and 10, 23 seconds left. Still on the 26. Yeah, we got one more timeout and we need to get a first down on this or get it to the center of the field. And give Olin a chance. All righty, quarterback goes back to the huddle. We do the same formation, trips right. Slot back, Willoughby gets a snap, here we go. Oh, somebody got loose there after Willoughby. He throws the ball downfield. He caught it, he caught it! Oh my gosh! He threw the ball downfield. He got he got away from the defender. Threw the ball downfield. Fred Rica's guy tipped the ball. Harrison Kennedy came down with it in the end zone. Who who was that? Who was that? It was Harrison. Yeah, Harrison came down with it. What a play! Wow, wow, great job. No flags, and looks like we're kicking it. BA's up, 19-16 with 14 seconds left. Wow, that was exciting. Getting ready for the extra point. All righty, Olin lining up. Waiting on the referees there. Okay, they're blowing it live. Here we go. 14 seconds left. We're going for the extra point. We're up 19-16. And right through the middle. Good job, Olin. B.A. with 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's going to be kicking off. Just scored. And we're 2016. 20, we're up 2016. What a game. 
both team both teams um, you, you know whoever had the ball less is what it came down to <laughs> all right coach Pennington and the staff out there giving them give them some instructions of where to line up and where to kick the ball we don't want to we don't want a long run back and where they can do a haymaker and we don't want a touchdown And Olin, there must have been a penalty on the play, I guess, because Olin's kicked. Oh, okay. There was unsportsmanlike on the touchdown, so they they added it to the kickoff. So Olin's kicking from their 45. He's probably going to put it in the trees back there. I don't know if they'll find this ball again. Yeah, that went to the track back there. All righty, here we go. Fifteen seconds left. They've got the ball. We're up by four, twenty to sixteen. Our emphasis here should please do not let anybody get behind you. We've got uh, four guys back deep. Our linebackers are about 10 yards off the ball, and looks like we got maybe, we got three rushing. Quarterback rolls out left. Makes a, oh, in and out of the receiver's hand, and um, Carter Snipes uh, made sure he knew he was there. If he'd have caught the ball, um, he would have picked up five, looks like, but. Um, He's going to be listening for footsteps from now on, looks like. Here we go. We got 10 seconds left. We're up by four, 20 to 16. Second and 10 on their 20 yard line. We got three rushing. Everybody else is back. Quarterback rolls, steps back, gets the ball, heaves it up down the middle of the field, and. He, I think he came down with it. He came down with it. Wow, what a catch. What a catch. He held married it to the center of the field, down the center of the field. And their big receiver went up between three or four of our guys and came down with it. That's going to be 2.8 seconds left on the clock. This should be the last play. And it uh, looks like Frederica has called a timeout. So, one play, and they're down to our 41-yard line. Statesboro Power Sports is a proud supporter of BA Athletics. We are Southeast Georgia's largest power sports dealer. We carry lines like Polaris, Can-Am, Suzuki, Alumacraft, Sea-Doo, Sea Fox, and Tiger Surf Boats. We have easy financing available for everyone. Come by Statesboro Power Sports and see the difference. Let's go Gators! We're back, here we go. We have 2.8 seconds left in the game. We're up by four, 2016. They just threw a long Hail Mary down the center and um, picked up about 40 yards. And now they're taking another timeout. We're we'll be right back. All right, baby, we're back, and 2.8 seconds left. They're on the ball. Quarterback drops back. He heaves it downfield. A long pass. It looks like he overthrew him, and it's blocked up. Blocked. We have won this game, Statesboro. And our players are on the field. 
Thank you for joining us. Uh, great game. Great game here in the swamp. Our boys, our boys should be proud. They got a great homecoming. Um, we'll see you at the next game, and um, what a great game. I, I hope you all enjoyed it. And, and one shout out to Lane Aaron. Lane Aaron, I told you I'd do it. Good job. <laughs>